Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Frazier and my topic was female genital mutilation. So I've drawn and written a comic and hopefully you view that first. So I'm going to talk for two to three minutes and the rest of the time will be you guys reading the comic. So when I first started the process, I found first-hand accounts of female gen genital mutilation from victims, people that have actually gone through it because obviously I don't actually know what it's like. Um, and I found one by Hoda Ali. Uh, it was an interview of her and it was published by Independent News. And it really rung out for me because she talked a lot about how excited she was before the procedure, like before she knew what it was, and how it would help her fit in with the people at her school. And then just her experience of it afterwards. So this comic is loosely based off of it. It's not exactly how it was depicted in the interview. Um, so you'll see when she is a child talking in her classroom, uh, she's dressed in blue and I chose this to be symbolic of innocence and her youngness and just before the cut. And she also doesn't have a mouth or hands and I did this for two reasons. The mouth, I chose not to give her a mouth to show how silenced she is and oppressed and how she isn't able to ask for help or really speak about how, speak about her experience. And for hands, two reasons is I didn't really wanna draw hands in this comic style, and I also wanted to make, just really get the point, the, get the point across how um, she isn't able to fight or like free herself from this societal construct that she has to do this. Um, and then another symbolic choice I did with the colors is when she's an adult, she's wearing green that's been, that has little red blotches on it. So the green symbolizes her, the spring and her new life because Hoda Ali has now gone on to be an advocate for the ending of FGM. And green is supposed to symbolize like new beginnings or like fresh leaves after a fire, like regrowth. And then the blood, which is just the red splotches, just shows like she has gone through this. So then the teacher that speaks to her in the second page is also wearing red and that also depicts that she has also gone through the female genital mutilation. And you expect the teacher to stand up for the student and help her or contact the authorities, but she doesn't just because it's such a societal, cultural thing that she just expects it. So instead of getting help for the student, she tells her not to speak of it again, which again just shows how silenced it is, even though it's such a cultural expectation that this happens. So uh, in making this comic, I felt extremely uncomfortable just because I'm obviously, I've never experienced it and it's not something that happens where I'm from, which is, you know, I was born in South Africa, right? But being a white, person we didn't really talk about it or anything so being just who I am it was very uncomfortable to write this comic and I just felt kind of like an imposter I guess like somebody who has actually gone through FGM if they read my comic they might just not appreciate it and I hope I showed the experience as well and respectfully I hope um, but that is something that, that I had to go through and I hope I did the comic well and just showed her experiences respectfully, but also enough to grab people that don't know about female gen genital mutilation's attention so that they learn more. And hopefully we can just really advocate for education. Thank you.